What's happening guys? Welcome back to the Three Amigos Motorsports YouTube channel. It's a rainy day here, so I thought I'd make you guys a video. It gives me some time to do so anyway. Uh, I got my long-awaited uh, GoPro mount for my helmet. Uh, I was in between the chin mounts, which make a model-specific helmet mount that goes right here, or this company called Rytec. Uh, I found them on the web. They are out of Canada, proudly made in Canada. Uh, it did take about a month for these to get here. Uh, at about week three, I contacted them. They got right back to me. I think they actually sent me another one on the way. And then, of course, this one showed up. So they did have good customer service. Uh, the reason I wanted one of these helmet-specific helmet mounts is I just wanted something clean. Um, it's a pretty simple idea. As you can see here, it's just a standard GoPro uh, rece receiver there. But they obviously 3D printed um, to fit the shape of the helmet exactly. So that'll be super clean. Looks like they use 3M sticky uh, tape, which is good because I know that stuff works well. Otherwise, looking at their, their packaging here, nice packaging. Uh, each one has a QR code for instructions. Uh, even came with the alcohol prep, which I had my own out to clean up the helmet and do that. Um, otherwise, so I got the helmet specific mount, a safety lanyard, just in case I'm nervous about sending a GoPro down the highway. I mean, I believe this is the J mount. That was, you know, four or five dollars to kind of get the, the GoPro in the right position. And then this multi-jointed mount here. Uh, ever since we started this YouTube endeavor, I have been acquiring a bunch of the stuff, learning all the tech. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to just use some detail spray, clean up the front of the helmet and uh, prep with some alcohol. We'll get it stuck on there and we'll see how the GoPro sits. Okay, so I got the base stuck on there, and at first when I was just testing it, it didn't look like it sat perfect, but when you really look at it, when you really press down on it, 99% of that 3M tape is sucked down on there, has good contact, centered up nicely, um, so at least when you're not running the GoPro, it's not this big bulky thing hanging off. That was why I steered away from the chin mount ones, it had this tab that kind of came down and off. And I just thought it was kind of bulky looking. Uh, vent, vent slider still works good there. And then just looking at the accessories, it came with this J hook as they call it. Uh, I would definitely recommend that because the standard GoPro one here that I use forever I shoot from the top, um, if you picture the angle there, it doesn't give, I don't have enough hands here for this. It doesn't give the GoPro enough angle unless you want to see nothing but your gas tank it doesn't give the gopro enough angle to tilt back so it's worth grabbing one of these j hooks i think for everything i got here i, th I was right around 30 dollars um again ridetechmoto.com they're out of canada great customer service i do like the qr instructions being a guy i didn't look at them i just sent it but let's get this stuck to the front of the helmet there and just see how it looks and that way I'll have more footage coming for you guys. All right, again, the J-hook, self-explanatory, self slides in down from the top, uh, sits pretty close to the helmet, so hopefully it'll pick up my voice. Uh, we're not set up with a mic yet, but then with the knob here, you got all the room for angle adjustment, and what we've seen from other YouTubers and learn as we go, the chin mount is definitely the best point of view uh, if you want the rider's point of view. That way you can see my hand controls, see where we're going. Um, so yeah, can't wait to try this thing out. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Leave us a comment if you want to see more part installs and whatever accessories we buy. Other than that, headed up to Laconia next week. 
Got a lot more stuff planned for you guys. So again, don't forget that like and subscribe and thanks for the support thus far.